we teamed up with Toyota Canada to do a series of videos on the electrification of their fleet. So what we should do is qualify what electrification means because there's different stages. Of course, Toyota is known for hybrid technology. They've been doing that for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. They also have fuel cell vehicles available. But what are we looking at here? We're looking at the Prius Prime. And there's some big news coming later this year, right? Yeah, they've announced they're going to come out with the RAV4 Prime. That's going to be very exciting because RAV4 is the best selling utility in the country. Hybrid is selling incredibly well. Then you throw in a plug-in variant. So what do you think of the way this thing looks? I think it looks a lot like the Mirai. It has the same sort of streamlined, sleek look. Yeah, very futuristic. Now it is different than the regular Prius, and you notice it around the back. It's kind of got this wave form to the back window, which is definitely unique. And it also has some changes on the inside, which we're gonna talk about in a moment. So you ready to drive it? Yeah, let's do it. Your brother and my brother-in-law has a Prius and he loves it. He's, every time I see him, he's always going on about some amazing accomplishment he was able to achieve. So my brother, just for those who don't know, lives in Richmond Hill uh, outside of Toronto and he drives to Scarborough and back every single day as a school teacher and he loves his Prius and he tries to get the best fuel economy he can. So here's a picture of his latest conquest. So he's always trying to get the best fuel economy and he absolutely raves about his Prius, loves it. How is his car different than this Prius Prime? So I want to kind of explain it kind of like a layer cake. So the first layer of the cake is the already hyper-efficient Prius, the mm -hmm. one my brother has, right? That's right. And then the next layer is the ability to drive purely on electric power up to 40 kilometers. Okay. So the car is already efficient. Yeah. And then you're adding in the plug-in hybrid element, which gets you 40 kilometers down the road just using electricity. Interesting. So what does that mean? This car, if it was just the hybrid, mm -hmm. is rated at 4.3 liters per 100 kilometers. Okay. So if you drive the first 40 kilometers of that 100 kilometers using just what? Electricity. And then you calculate it out to 100 kilometers, the re remainder of it being with the already efficient hybrid, mm -hmm. it works out to just 1.8 liter equivalent per 100 kilometers. That's great. So now we live in the city, right? Yes. And where do you drive most of the time? I just drive around in the city. I don't really go that far from A to B. So do you think you would even get the gasoline engine to come on um, in your day? I don't think so. No, I, only if I was going to my mom's, which is about uh, 32 kilometers there. And then back, right? And then back, yes. So let's just pick that as an example of a commute. So say you were doing like your mom was commuting, still working in the city and back. Yeah. She would drive the whole way yeah. into the city just using electric. And on the way back, at some point, the gasoline engine would come on. Sure. And that's the only time it would be using gasoline. Right. So that's what this is. Very efficient. Very efficient. Yeah. So I just want to talk about the inside for a moment. What's mm -hmm. the first showstopper feature when you got in this car? Right here, <laughs> the screen. Yeah. Beautiful. So it's 11.6 inches. And anybody that gets in this car, it's like, wow, it's quite uh, intuitive and easy to use. I like to just hit the menu button and then yeah. you have all of the different features you're going to use, whether it's your phone or your navigation. And you can turn the screen into one big navigation screen if you like. It looks so cool. Now you don't probably remember the uh, the original Prius, right? But the thing is, the interior of those very early models, you know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. they were quite basic on the inside. Sure. What do you think of the way this one looks? It is really pretty. I have to say, I like the contrast of this light gray with the black. And um, it's very streamlined looking. It's simple. It looks modern, mm -hmm. very clean. And it all comes together with that big screen in the middle. Now, just beneath the windscreen is another readout that gives you all kinds of coaching advice on how to 
basically drive this car as efficiently as possible. Mm -hmm. That's what my brother does. He watches those calculators yeah. and gets the most out of it. It becomes a bit of a game, actually. It's quite a lot of fun to interact with the car to get some amazing fuel economy. Sure, now, here's, it's a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. Now, here's one thing um, that they added for 2020. Actually, a few things that really make this car much more attractive. Um, there used to be no center seat in the back. Really? Yeah, so now for 2020, they've added a center seat, so that makes this a five-passenger vehicle. Which is important because a lot of families are buying this now. On top of that, they have added Apple CarPlay mm. to the display audio system, so that's very important for a lot of people for with sure. connectivity. So those features, and also on the inside, there used to be a lot more white in here, mm -hmm. um, trim pieces, and they've gone to black now, and to your point, I think it does lift it up and make it feel uh, more premium, right? It does for sure and like I said it's that modern feel that everyone is moving to now this is what people are looking for this is what they want so you've been driving it now for a day or so mm -hmm. um, plug it in overnight wake up in the morning it's got that 40 kilometers roughly of electric drive what do you think of the way it drives I like the way it drives it feels like an electric car of course it's very smooth it feels speedy to me it has um, a lot of torque off the start when you accelerate, and uh, I quite like the feel of it all. So this is a good size, right, for a lot of people. It's mm -hmm. got the hatch around the back. Put your groceries in there. You can fold the seats down and have a lot more storage capacity as well. There is a, a hidden place under the trunk where you can um, put the plug obviously this car needs a plug mm -hmm. so there's two ways to think about this you could just use your regular 120 volt outlet say in your garage mm -hmm. um, or you could upgrade and install a 240 volt charger mm -hmm. which would be more powerful and I also think you get into the habit you come home you park it in your garage or on a parking pad and you just plug it in it just becomes habit to you and it's always charged when you're ready to go absolutely I've got friends who ask me quite often, I want to get an electric car, knowing that I'm in the car business, what should I get? And I say to them, have you considered the Prius Prime? It really is an inexpensive way to get into the electrical market. A lot of people don't think about a plug-in, but a plug-in is going to satisfy the needs for most people. So here's the price of the Prius Prime. It starts at $32,990. And here's some good news. If you get the Prius Prime with the upgrade package, it's actually $455 less than last year at $32,990. $34,990 and the top Prius Prime technology, the one you see here is $37,990 and that's $580 less than last year. When was the last time you heard of a car going down in price? Unheard of. <laughs> it is pretty incredible. And we're not even talking about any rebates you might qualify in Quebec, British Columbia, or federally. So mm -hmm. uh, this is a really good gateway into owning an electrified car. I think it is too. It's a good way to go.